Hi, this is MC Shetty for a new episode of my Let's Play Nature for Nature Beauty and I'm trying to find out where the treasure map leads that I found last time I can see myself on the corner top right but not sure how to get on the map so I'm, I'm actually not, pre not really sure what direction it goes in In the meantime, I'm also exploring the terrain. Oh, that's interesting. So I am going down there. Okay, let's get off here. So, if I go this direction... So, I'm now going positive set. Okay, so positive set is going down. I think positive X, X should be that direction then. Let me see. It's hard to see. That's a big. Uh, let's put out the other map. So let's go that way. It's possible that I have to go the other way. So it was the other way. Look. Terrain is generating. Looks like I'm getting closer. Okay, let's move a bit that direction. See if I can find it. Almost there. Somewhere in this direction. Okay, so now I'm lit literally on it. Um, let's see if I can find anything. The vanilla treasure map normally points to something near uh, near the water, but. Uh, I think this is a mod that adds this. Yeah, there it is. Okay, music discs. But otherwise, not that spectacular. Wasn't really worth the effort. But anyway, now, now I know. And let's see, how can I go back? Yeah, it's the good direction. So I'm keeping it night now because I want to check out how safe the village is. There's lots of lighting, but I still think it might not be completely enough.
I changed the layout of this down a bit. There used to be a big hole here and it was closed. Um, I don't think this belongs actually. Let me put that one somewhere else. Um, maybe here. Just to give me more room in case. you can generate these on top of that I wonder if I first put a block there then break that block oh problem with this is that my pickaxe is way too fast yeah you see these are the rooms that I made and I accidentally jumped into them well uh, it used to be a room below this one so I just cleaned it up a bit I mean to go to the end and I think doing that in a desert is a better idea than what I was doing before in uh, in that snow biome because it can't rain here so that means that uh, it's always okay to uh, uh, and the men will always spawn and have no problems with the rain uh, but I need some items yeah. 
So I need to go back. I need some glass to make the building and a door. And some staircase. So let me get some materials. And then glass panes two for next to the door. Okay. Even though it can't rain in the desert when it's raining in the overworld, what's he doing there? Um, it still appears to the shader still is still confused. It seems. Okay. Please come through. Nice. Okay. But let me see if I can cut this down. Mm, nice. If I get enough saplings, I can do another one. Yeah, it seems like that. Plenty of wood, that's nice. Okay, so now I have to build my... Enderman house ship. So let's do it here. Just a simple house. Which breaks way too easily. Let me just put it there. And add some slabs with me. And the slabs look weird. I'm going to do it with just a bit instead. in it. Uh, okay, the easiest way is to just put blocks there. And build plane like that. Okay, now I need a staircase or the ladder. I mean, that was meant to be a torch. Okay. So now I just have to wait. 
So, scanning for Enderman. I'm not sure actually if Enderman avoids the outside if it's raining even if it is in a desert. Maybe they do, in which case I would also have to wait until the rain stops. Looks kinda cool though. That's the other village there. Mobs are spawning, but I don't see any enemy. Let me put mine over here. Okay, just have to wait. There is one. There are two actually. But he isn't. It's too far away. Maybe I can try to lure him closer. Yeah. Quickly. Okay. <coughs> Sorry. Nice. That's how it works. And apparently they don't mind the rain in the desert. So that's good. Is the other one still there? No. But okay, I'm, at least I know it's working. So I got seven ender pearls from three endermen, which is very, very nice. Unfortunately, the night is over. One floor, uh, baby zombies can get in like here so going to change the design a bit just making it a bit safer okay And I also see a new jungle jungle tree has grown. I would like to wait another night. I really need a good supply of ender pearls. Okay, this one can go. I don't need it anymore. Um, I actually had an entrance that I made here. Oh, that one can go too. Okay, so making some good progress here. And actually I need to go that direction. Going back to the main base. And... Oh, it's that way. Maybe I should put a sign or something because I always forget. I need to go up here. And down there, actually. Let me change the design of this a bit. Oh, it's just in staircase. Maybe this way then. Uh, 
Um, let me put away a few of my tools that I don't need at the moment. after making one extra waystone because of course once I find the end portal I need to way back um, let's see Okay, so I'm all ready to go st start hunting for the end portal. I'm actually going to do it uh, starting at uh, my base here and not from the village. So I have food and their eyes. And the waystone, also I have uh, the signpost so that I can configure the way back. And from these planes it should be the best way to try to do this. Actually. Yeah, okay. I was just thinking if sometimes there is a mod that adds a better ender typer. Okay, so let's see. Okay, that direction. Okay, let's start moving that direction. Okay, so let's try from here. Okay, still that direction. And it was lost. Trying to move straight to the way the NRI was po pointing. And it's getting dark. I have a bet with me. Okay, so it just went back. I came from that direction. And now it pointed back. So let's do it here. Let's go stand on the top here. Um, I think it's probably close. Um, I'm going to try to start digging down here because I don't want to waste too many other. Thanks to the giant hammer. I 
I was able to find it quickly. So it just went down until a certain height and then started breaking things. I spy. So now I need to find out where it is. I don't have a lot of torches, I have coal, but uh, no sticks, so it doesn't help much. I could put my waist down, down to get more torches. Um, I kind of want to find it first. That's an interesting door. I think I will first go back though. Um, let's make a secure area. Never go this way again, so don't really need it. You can just close it. Okay. And the door here. So let's put this one down. And fortress. That's the end fortress. And Weird, but yeah, it does work. And normally, yeah, can I configure this without teleporting? Preferably, maybe I need to. Okay, so I put away some stuff and I can now. I have some torches, so I should be able to go back now, make this a bit safer, and hopefully, hopefully find the end portal soon. Let's get rid of some of these doors because it's a bit annoying. That end. Um, actually, I need to be careful, I need to be able to find a way back. May already be too late, yeah. And okay, so this is the way back. Hmm. Let's 
take the more subtle hammer which is almost broken by the way So, okay, to recognize this, I'm going to put more torches there. And you know what? Let's do it this way. So I finally found it, already made it safer, I actually, it was hard to find, I actually came from that direction, so I closed that wall and I mined out this little area and put the teleportation thingies there, um, but I think I actually, let's see, I don't have enough only one was filled, so I need three more ender pearls before I can open this. But that will be for next episode, because it's time to wrap up. Yeah. And I have to put away all the stuff that I found. So maybe next episode I can start to prepare for the end. I need better armor. Um, there are a few things that I'd like to have before I, I do that. By the way, I found a lot of books. And even more books. And one extra ender pearl. Yeah. Okay. Time to go. See you next time. Bye bye.